Well, hello everyone. Hope y'all are having a good week this week so far. But anyway, today we're gonna I'm gonna show y'all how to paint this quick, easy. I call this a thread fin shad pattern without all the detail. It's just a quick, easy pattern, which easily ends up with good results. Fish seem to really like that pattern. So anyway. Let's get started. So in front of us, we have a Blitz KO from Alternative Lures. Um, really good little blank. I really like this blank. So anyway, our first color is going to be Createx OPEC Black 5211. And that's going to be our base coat for this pattern. So, when you do this, there's no need for a white base coat. So, we'll spray this on there real quick. See if my airbrush will spray. I've been having problems with it. I think it's about... Now that that's over with, um, I think it's almost time for a new nozzle for this airbrush. kind of what it seems like sometimes it just kind of got nowhere it don't want to spray very good kind of has a making a crazy noise that normally it doesn't make it's not smooth kind of wants to splatter and i'll clean this thing out and cleaned it out and cleaned it out so i think it may be the little nozzle on it Anyway, we'll heat set this real quick and put another coat on it. Okay, I went ahead and sprayed that other coat of black on him. I've got two two coats of black on him, and I went ahead and wrapped him with this wrap. So, our next color is going to be Createx Opaque White. So, and I bought back big bottles of this white because I use a lot of it. So, it's 50 50 12 52 12 so when we're going to spray this white over that black then that way our other colors will kind of show through so yeah and this is where my airbrush is not yeah i'm gonna have to do something with this airbrush I may have to pull out the the master airbrush till I get this one fixed, but I'm pretty sure it's in a bad need of a nozzle because it just wants to spit real bad. But it'll probably get us through this spray session. So, but if I'm gonna paint some swim baits and stuff, I gotta. Which airbrushes? But from here on out, when we, I'll probably heat set this white real good, and then after that, we won't heat set any of the other colors. They'll just be wet on wet. Yeah, we'll just make sure we get that black covered pretty well. Need to get that out of the way. Just kind of spray, kind of spray in there on that. Right in there. All right. I think we got him covered pretty good. Clean out this airbrush and I'll heat set him. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, okay. So our next color is going to be this um, folk art metallic pearl white, which is number 659. And I'll be honest with you, I like this pearl white better than the Createx. Because this pearl white will make the silver really pop really well. 
I just the, like the way it looks. It just has a better sheen to it. So if you spray silver over this, it seems like that silver is just a lot brighter. Without having to lay the black down. metallic and I don't know you can see that it gives it a pretty good shine even through that mess well, we're gonna clean this out real quick clean this out real quick and then we're gonna go with um, It's Createx Pearl Magenta. And it is 5302. And we're going to spray this on his throat area. And if it goes a little higher up on the sides and stuff, it's, it just kind of adds a little more to it. So anyway, we're just going to take, just spray it right through there. Just something like that, kind of spray it through. And then we'll do the same over here. We may have gotten that just first hint. about all we want right there so we'll clean this out and I'm gonna do something a little different with this one I'm gonna see what it'll look like we're gonna add that real distinct um, gold line that those thread pins have so we're gonna see if this will, if it'll look good or not but we're gonna try it I hadn't tried it I usually don't do gold on these but we're just going to try it this time. So we're just going to start right there at that curve. And we're just going to go right there. But we want that kind of thick. That way maybe it'll show up. Call that good right there. Clean this airbrush out real quick. And then we're gonna go with this um, sapphire blue metallic by Folk Art uh, 656 blue sapphire. And I already have this pre thinned in the bottle so. I, I use this color quite a bit and it's almost empty but I have another bottle so it's no biggie all right so what we're gonna do with this sapphire blue is we're 
we're just going to take and spray it right over the top of the back. Hit on the nose of it. And then we're just going to hit the shoulders with it just a little bit. That way it'll travel down the side. Just like that right there. And get it just something like that right there. clean this one out and I'll be right our last final color well it's not because we got to put some shad dots on him but we'll do that after we dry him take the mesh off anyway I have loaded is createx silver and what we're going to do we're just going to spray this at a very sharp angle you don't want to cover it we just want to catch that mesh Kind of give him that silver shine look. So. Just catch a little of that netting. Because we don't want to cover that blue up or none of the pearl white or any of that we just want just kind of just a little just to catch the netting to give it kind of a hint of scale look yeah i'm gonna call that good we'll see what we get so anyway, clean this out, and I'm going to heat set that. When we come back, we'll pull that mesh off. Okay, I was just going to let y'all know something. If you're using a heat gun to, to dry these with, is I'll, I'll dry them for a little bit, and then I'll let it set and cool, cool back down. Because if you get too much heat on those plastic baits, it'll melt them. Trust me, I know. I've done it. I've melted a couple of them whenever I first started using the heat gun. But that heat gun serves a lot of purposes. Especially if you want to make you a vacuum box, which I have one under my table. And there's sometimes I'll make my own stencils. Um, I just use milk jugs and stuff. And sometimes I get the, get the mile, mile nar the stencil material and I'll make stencils out of it and stuff but anyway so I'll heat set him again and we'll be right back all right we're gonna let him sit there and cool off a little bit and I'm gonna get some coffee and um then we'll pull that mesh off see if we got him heat set right if we did it'll look pretty good but anyway, um, while we're waiting for him to cool down, I was going to run something by y'all. Since y'all are supporters of the channel and subscribers and everything, which I appreciate every one of y'all. Just so y'all know, I really appreciate all the subscriptions and everything. But I was going to run something by y'all and see if I get a bunch of baits painted up and stuff. Um, if y'all would like for me to do a live and do an auction on those baits or just sell those baits outright and everything. I got... Quite a few baits painted up right now but um it's up to y'all you know and i paint some name brands i paint savage gears i paint um bull shads i, re I do repaints on them i do repaints on a bunch of six cent stuff and i'll do a bunch of repaints and, and everything and i usually sell all that stuff on um facebook but um sometimes facebook's just real slow on selling baits so i mean Y'all just drop me a comment and let me know if y'all y'all 
would want me to do something like that and if y'all do then one of these evenings i'll set up a live and we'll go or one of these saturdays or sundays we'll set up a live and we'll do a live and we'll sell some baits so but yeah just let me know if y'all be well if y'all are wanting me to do that and so and i'll paint up some good baits and We'll get it done. I'm fixing to put in a big order for a bunch of swim baits and glides from alternative lures. So, um, once I get those ordered, I should get them by next week or something. So, and then I can paint up some good patterns and good baits, have some good baits come up for sale. And I may do a drop. Just do a drop of a bunch show y'all a bunch of baits that i have painted and that they're for sale and available and then if you want anything you can just get a hold of me and put in an order um i'm looking into creating a a um, web page and that way i can sell my baits on that web page but anyway till we get that done i'll just see what y'all think so but anyway all right so now for the big reveal Let's take this netting off and see what we have. He feels pretty dry, so. You never know what's going to happen when you go to peel this stuff off, so. Sometimes they look really good, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes they don't work. So, anyway, we're going to peel real. He's not real, real dry. So, we're not going to peel him off just yet. I think I'm going to do a little more heat, and I'll be right back. Alright, we added a little more heat to him, so let's just slowly start peeling this back. Just real slow. You don't want to peel this very fast, especially when it's like that. But, I think this one's going to be one of the cool ones. So, we'll get him... And this is just like Jen Kravosky of Jekyll Bates. What she says is just when you get it to this point, you rip it off like a band-aid. Just like that. So anyway. And that's what we have. I think he turned out pretty good. You see that silver on his sides? Against that pearl white. Really gives him a good shine on him. See. He'll almost just silver shine out. But do y'all see that effect we got going down the sides? Once you get clear coat on that. It'll look like it's raised up off the hem. So that's actually a pretty cool effect. So yeah. We got exactly what we was wanting. That blue through that gold. Got the blue a little more through this gold on this side, but like I said, when you're doing that mesh, you just don't know. Oh, I don't guess we did. I mean, it's actually pretty good. So, then you have that pink coming through on that belly. So, don't look bad at all. Once you get it eyes in him and clear coated, he'll look pretty, pretty good. Yeah. It'll look real good. So anyway, let's put some shad dots on him. And we'll call him done. So, what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna get him at this little angle, kind of like right there. That way I can see. And my shad stencil should be laying right here here because that's normally where I have it laying um, once it fell but I picked it up all right so, like always we're just gonna use the Createx OPEC black get all that water out of my airbrush all right so yeah this is my favorite shad dot stencil because if you look at a true shad their dots aren't perfect so we're just going to take that point and stick it right there on that and 
Then we're going to get it, yep, just like that on the old dot. Then we're going to flip it over to this side. And I did the, let's see, yep, I did it like that. So when we flip it over, it needs to be, no. Okay. So we did the dot like that. So then when we go to this side, it needs to be like that. So, anyway, so we'll do this one the same. We'll put that point of that right on there. And we'll spray that dot. And you almost get that dot in the same spot every time. Pretty darn close. Right there. Yep. Right there, then right there. Yeah, but I see something because I didn't have that just plumb flat against the bait. So let me scoot that. We didn't get this bottom very good. There we go. Now we got it. There. That's almost dead perfect on those dots. And I think this one up on top, I didn't quite get it done either, right? But that's the thing, you can always adjust these dots, but yeah. Yeah, because I don't have that just slide up against that. There. Now we got them. There we go. So, but anyway, there he is. So, we'll get eyes on him and get him clear coated and get him dried. And I will show you what he looks like when he's finished. Hopefully the sun's shining whenever he gets dry and gets done. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one. Well, y'all, here he is finished. He turned out pretty good. So, but there's my version of a quick thread pin shad pattern. So, thank y'all for watching. See y'all in the next one.